Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is video true and welcome to Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey, a fascinating and extremely ambitious game that's decided to represent 8 million years of human prehistory, from 10 million years ago to 2 million years ago. The period when our ape ancestors went from the lower end of the food chain right up towards the flipping top. So ambitious stuff covering generations and eras and all sorts of stuff but there's one more fascinating thing too which is this game promises uh, no missions uh, no quests you're just going to be dumped in a jungle deal with it now some games that look open can definitely be way too structured and way too linear so uh, i am looking forward to this so, say hello to our happy little family here. There's just three of us for now, but we're going to be needing more as time goes by. So, I am playing as Anne, an adult male, coupled with Gnar, and we have had a baby called Wom. So there's Gnar over there, and there's the little tiny baby Wom. So, we live right here, but unfortunately, we're not quite ready to get on with, you know, climbing up the food chain, evolution, all the rest of it just yet, because uh, we are all spec spectacularly stupid. I recognise that that's my wife and that's my child and apparently you're here too. I don't know who you are but you live with as well. Fine, we've got a clan of like four people right now and this is where I live. But everything else here, absolutely no idea what it is. So if I just stare at this bush over here, yep, don't know. In fact, it scares and terrifies me. So I suspect it might have evil red eyes. And that's basically true for everything in the world right now. So this rock over here, bloody terrifying this rock. So we probably need to get rid of some of this basic ignorance to vast numbers of things that just sit on the ground nearby to where we live. So, grab myself a rock here. And if I want to figure out what it is, then I need to inspect it. Literally, like, give it a sniff, look terrified by it, maybe lick it or something. Momentarily, I'll figure out that is a rock. Absolutely marvellous. So, I'm done with that for the time being. Nothing I can do with that just yet. So, I just need to go around, grab everything, and just figure out what it is. Because right now, I know nothing. I am completely flipping hopeless. Ah, yes. This over here is Tar. An adult male who's single. So, we probably want to find him a partner at some point. So, we're going to be needing an adult female to bring into the clan. So, he's got a partner too. So, we can have ourselves some more children. Because children are essential to everything. Because this here is a game about evolution. Obviously, evolution is about passing from generation to generation. So, children are very, very important. Also, apparently it's a bit cold today. I'm feeling a bit chilly right now. Speaking of which... You need to come with me. Children are far too valuable to be left alone. So you are being given a piggyback. So I'm just going to keep you with me at all times just to basically keep you nice and safe. Right, now we've got you. Let's start having a look-see at all these bits and pieces. So this here is probably going to be uh, hopefully edible food. Might be poisonous. So uh, let's just give it a check just in case. There we go. Proper berries. Got Dulce in its name. Latin for sweet. Therefore, it's probably good. Oh, the baby wants some too. And I didn't give the baby a single berry. Screw you. So adaptable metabolism. I have started assimilating nutrients from berries. Marvellous. And we've got ourselves some more stuff dotted around too. Uh, growing neuron communication. Uh, yes, because I can at any point just actually yell... And everyone else responds. So if I need to know where people are, but I can't actually see them, that's how we do. So, things to add to my list of stuff I now know what is. Uh, big palm leaves of some description here. I'm guessing I'll need them for shelter, but that might not be anytime soon. It could be generations till we're building shelter. This family that we're playing with right now, they might not see it happen. And we've got ourselves... Hang on. Is that a new type of food? Yes, that's food. Uh, Eat some of that. That'll help out my stamina meter. That's the green circle in the bottom. And yeah, adapt more metabolism. Getting nutrients from vegetables. Also, cute touch, by the way. When you do something, the rest of your group immediately joins in. So because I'm eating, they eat too. And actually, speaking of which, we should probably check that this water's good. So uh, get rid of what I was just holding there. Scoop up a bit of water. Check that this stuff's okay. It seems to be running water. So uh, probably it's fine, but just double check it. The answer is, yep, that's fresh water, so give that a nice drink, and I'm guessing my friends are going to, yep, they're just going to dive in and have some water too. Marvellous. Okay, I think I've discovered everything, so uh, different kind of rock over here. That's obsidian, the black rock. We've got ourselves little sleeping spots over here. I think 
we've discovered absolutely everything. Marvellous. Right, most of the day's gone. I've spent most of it just, yeah, learning what a rock is and whatnot. But there's a big old world out there. A very big world uh, full of all sorts of different people. So yeah, we've actually got ourselves over there. And that's a new hominid who is not currently uh, part of our group, but theoretically could be. And they're next to uh, something I don't recognise. Alright, how are we going to get over there? We're probably going to get over there by, yep, yeah, going along here. Now, you may notice I've got a stamina meter, and I'm going along trees, and yes, as I'm an ape, I can just basically uh, cling to any tree of my choosing. Right, there we go. I see you over there. Let's just actually identify you and also memorise you. That's basically a tag uh, right there. Let's just get you moving over here and also... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's that over there? I see something over there. Just dangle over to that, please. Grab it. Lovely. Give that a check in a second. Inspect that. And yeah, you may notice I can climb on trees because I'm an ape and I've got a stamina meter when I'm clambering and there's a tagging system. So it might feel a little bit Assassin's Creed to you. And that's not surprising. Some of the Assassin's Creed team did actually work on this, hence the similarities. Especially to Assassin's Creed 3, there definitely feels like there's some similarities there. Now, what's this thing? So apparently I can... I can apply it. Okay. It's like a... Ah! It's a rough thing I'm using to, uh, I guess, clean myself. Gotcha. By the way, I'm actually making it over to... Oh. Okay, you're not actually where I thought you were. I don't really want to make a leap of faith through foliage at you because... Uh, yeah, I don't really want to break my legs, especially when I'm carrying... Oh, blimey! Okay, especially when I'm carrying a baby, I don't want to break my legs. So that's, that's absolutely fine. Hang on, if I loop around the other way around here... Is this how we get to you? Because, um... Okay, you are really hiding from me right now. Yeah, you know what? That ape's playing way too hard to get. I'm not risking my legs trying to get you out of there. Right, clamp down. Then over in this sort of a direction. Onto the log. Right, you know what? Good first day. How about we just turn in? We can explore the jungle tomorrow. Alright, that'll be a good thing to do right there. In fact, actually, one more thing to do before we go to bed. Which is, we need to actually mark this location. So we actually know where we are, you know, living right now. So, uh, give that a bit of a discover. And now we've actually got that marked on our... Well, not marked on our map. Obviously, this game doesn't have a map. You just need to navigate via landmarks and whatnot. Because, as I say, this game treats you like an adult. Specifically, an adult that the game wants to take out into the wilderness and then leave to die. Oh, but we've got some drama, though. Flipping Comet, which is presumably not the Comet that's about to wipe out the dinosaurs, because I feel like I wouldn't be surviving that either. Oh, but we've got smoke in the jungle. Not too far from where I am, either. Okay, we need to go find ourselves a crash meteor site. And here we go. As I just go exploring for something else, just doing everything in the world slowly makes you smarter, better at exploring, all of that good stuff, and hello... Is that uranium? Is that the first step towards our nuclear reactors? That is... No, it's an emerald, a precious stone. Okay, well, we're taking that back to the missus. She's gonna flip and love that. But you see this here? This is why we decided to tag our starting location, because now we can see it in purple right there. So we know the way to get back down to where we should be is now to just go down. So if I can just find myself... Actually, hang on. I think I should just be able to cling onto this wall, right? Yes, I can just cling onto everything. Because I am a magic ape and everything is lovely. Just as long as I keep an eye on my stamina meter. Here we go. I'm going to give you this here emerald. There you go. She's now got the emerald. That's how much I love my ape wife. So, drop the child and, aha, I can call my mate over. Now, by any chance, can we actually just have ourselves another child right now? And, oh, blimey, she can also teleport. That's impressive. Yes, indeed, we can mate. And the camera does pan up, which is very, very welcome indeed. So we don't have to hedgehog this. Right, we've got ourselves a new pregnancy, which can apparently just be like an instantaneous pregnancy, if that's what you want. So go on then. We'll just get ourselves some new life going on here. Ah, never mind, we've just skipped 15 months later. Fine, we can't just have instantaneous pregnancies. But that's okay, now we've got ourselves a brand new child. And the other thing we can do while we're sitting in bed, evolution. So all of this stuff I've been doing has been building up to me basically creating new neurons and learning how to do stuff. So neuronal growth is complete, so some form of motor skill, some form of communication skill, 
or some form of environmental analysis. Let's go for motor skill. That sounds fun. So I've now learnt the ability. Aha! Now this is crucial. Because up to now, I've only been able to hold one item in one hand. Now I can switch hands, and thus I can hold two things at once. I can also hold B to summon everyone to me. So previously I could just like, you know, tell them to come over to me one by one. And now I can summon the entire group, and that opens up various follow-up skills if I keep going down that path. We've also got ourselves a matured neuron. What's this one going to be? Memory. The range for detection of non-edible resources is increased. Fine, so in my intelligence, I can now see things that are further away. So we're now in day 92 of year one. And now I feel like, yes, we need to start figuring stuff out a little bit better. So up to now, I've just had myself, yeah, a rock. Not exactly spectacular, all things considered. But now I can put that into my offhand, meaning immediately I'm allowed to try and alter it if that's what I want to do. But just because the game prompts you to alter it, it doesn't mean you can. You need to figure everything out by experimentation. So, okay, I think I'm also learning how to be a mime right now. Yeah, obviously, with a single hand, I'm not going to be able to do anything to a flipping rock. That's not going to fly, though. Okay, apparently that did boost my dexterity. I feel like I should have got dumber for trying to actually interact with a rock just by hand. But just trying does make me slightly smarter. But no, let's do something a bit more intelligent here. Let's get a second rock. Now, now we've got two rocks. That seems a little bit better. So now I can try and alter one thing with another. So if I just basically go back over here and give it a smash and... Okay, that was too hard. I think I heard a tiny click there. So, hang on. I think there might be timing that needs to be done. Switch hands. Try again, try again, try again. Listen for the click. There we go. There we go. There's a little bleep after the click. That's the moment. So, just keep going. And presumably, we're going to make like a little a flint or a sharp thing. Right? That makes about sense. And, oh! I screwed up at the end. There we go. I've not actually made a blade of any description. I've just discovered an alteration. I can change things by hitting them with a rock. So now I've turned rock into half rock. Now half rock is strange and terrifying to me. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And now I'm just going to have a little look -see at half rock. Can I even figure this out? I don't think I can even figure this out. Hang on, put that in my prop hand. Yeah, now I can inspect it. Okay. Inspect this terrifying magical half rock and see if I can figure out what the hell is going on here. So this is uh, granite grinder. Okay, not sure what I actually do with that, but just so I remember where it is, I'm going to walk it over to my cave and pop it down over here. Now, if I had to guess, I can probably do the same thing with, uh, yeah, the obsidian. Logically, one block of obsidian would let me do stuff to another obsidian, right? No, that obsidian just straight up shattered the other one. Hang on. Try again, just in case I got my timing wrong there, but I thought I had it right. And, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Start construction. I'm just hitting some leaves with some stones and uh, building. I've discovered the action of building and that has... Ah, that makes a new bed. So to make a bed, you get a pile of leaves and then you whack it with some stones, and that makes a brand new bed. Gotcha. Also, one of you should really be coming with me. What's your name, by the way? You are, whoa, marvellous. So you're the new one. Right, you can come with... Oh, I accidentally started playing as the baby, which you can do. No, 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 no. Hop up there. There we go. Back to the dad, please. There we go, marvellous. Right, you're coming with me. No, obsidian just shatters other obsidian, unfortunately. So... Just drop all of this. We'll come back to the obsidian later. But we're starting to see how things fit together here. And I'm guessing the big one is going to be... Yes, can I make myself baby's first spear? In fact, first things first. Can I just alter the stick by itself? So, alter this. And alter. There we go. I've stripped a dead branch and now I've just got a stick. Alright, so that's one thing I can do. Can I also do anything with my stick to make it better? No, I can create a pile of stones if I wanted to. But it feels like that's, that's all I've got in terms of my stick ability right now. Okay, what if I were to switch hands? Then can I do any 
No, I can't. But I can examine this terrifying new stick that looks slightly different to the old stick. What madness is this? Right, I've discovered a stick. Marvellous. I do find it odd it gives the Latin names for things, despite the fact that this game predates Latin by, you know, about 10 million years. Right, let's see if I can also ultra stick with a stone, because it feels like I can. There we go. Okay, I've discovered that hitting can also alter a dead branch, but is this also a stick? And I've got lever tool user, rocks, use granite as a tool twice. Right, so hang on. Is this thing also a stick, just like the last thing? They don't look quite the same, but they feel like they're very similar. So, what I'm going to do is... No, not that. Put that back down, you. I'm going to take a stick with me. It's, oh, it's three o'clock now. It's a bit late, to be honest. It's a bit late in the day. But I'm just going to put that in my offhand. It's time to go and explore a little bit. And in particular... If I could find myself some more apes to bring back to the colony today, that'd be great. So, oh, I heard something. Okay, who's around? Aha, there's someone over there, very, very close by indeed. Hello, what's your deal right now? You are suffering from what appears to be some form of headache. Okay, I could give you a stick, but I feel like that's not the right idea. Right, swap hands, grab this. Wait, what even is this? Is this, uh, is this just a pretty leaf or is this edible? Give it a look, see? Yep, it is truly horrifying and terrifying, whatever it is. Uh, that is... Uh, right, that is indeed food. Right, eat some of that. Don't bother giving any to my baby, obviously. Instead, uh, yeah, just grab some of that. Grab some more. There we go. Hello! Could I give you some food, please? Are you hungry right now? What's your deal? The answer is... No. Does not want food. Okay, so need to figure out what you do want. Right now they're beating their head, suggesting pain of some description. Okay, maybe we'll come back to you later when we discover some form of medicine. Alternatively, just have a little loops around. Oh, hang on. There's another person over here. Oh, are you sick? That person looks like they're vomiting to me. Jump! Yeah, we're fine. Right. If you feel sick, we might need something that reduces sickness, or maybe you're hungry. Any chance I could just give you some food and we'd be good with each other? Because, uh, hang on, over to here, over to here, over to here. Hello! No, it's definitely nausea of some description. This individual has been poisoned. So, uh, we've got someone with head pain down there, and then someone who has got themselves, yeah, sick in some capacity over here. Okay, we'll come back to you later. Now, jump over to here, because there's definitely... Is that some food over there? Yeah, that's definitely some food. Do we really need food? I'm not sure we really need food. But if I just jump over here, we can grab it on the way past. Why not, I say? It's right flipping there. Okay, give that a bit of an inspect. Just make sure it's not poisoned or anything. So that is... Yep, that's new food, all right. African giant mombin. So that's good. We may as well just eat some of that right now. Maybe give some of it to our baby. Maybe don't flip in bother. So obviously, as you can see, there's multiple ways you can navigate the world. You can be down on the ground, but that's where the things that want to eat you are. Meanwhile, if you stay up top, there is a risk that, you know, in theory, you might accidentally fall to your death at various points. And there are some uh, slightly precarious jumps that need to be made sometimes though yeah that's that's less precarious all of a sudden so now we can just nip down over here and yeah we can very easily go from tree to tree so uh, go on then let's see if we can actually get close by to that the uh oh uh oh whoa okay that could have gone badly for the baby right let's see how close i am to the smoke right now where's the smoke okay it's over there it's over there it doesn't seem that far away the thing is We'll make faster progress on the ground. So, uh, I'm going to go down onto the ground uh, in that direction. Okay, maybe. Just maybe I shouldn't do that. Because there is literally a warthog right there. Which is probably bad. So, maybe we keep a flipping distance. Because I could actually bring the rest of the group. We could take out the warthog together. But, uh... For the time being, no. For the time being, no, we can't do that. So, okay, hang on. No, no. Back, 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 please. Down over in this direction. 
Let's just bypass the warthog. Oh, hang on, I've moved too far from home. I'm having a bit of a freak out right now. Uh, yeah, I think it's because I'm too far from my base. Or because I'm alone. Right, okay. So I can't get over to the meteor just yet. I'm having too much of a freak out. Possibly because it's night, possibly because I'm alone, possibly because I'm starting to get a bit hungry or thirsty or whatever. Right, time to head for home, I'd say, and that doesn't look like that's that big a drop. It's a bit of a drop, but nothing too dramatic. Yeah, it looks like I should be able to nip home this way because I tagged home. This is why. And now no home is over there, so I can always navigate back to a tagged landmark nice and easy. Then again, while I'm out here, are there any other landmarks I could actually tag... Yeah, there's one right there. It looks like it's, it's literally right there, in fact. Hello! Okay, that's good. Maybe that'll let me roam a bit further because I actually, you know, know the area a bit better. The Sister Archers. All right, so I've discovered something that I now know where it is. And I know if I head straight towards the Sister Archers, I'm about halfway to where the meteor came down. Right, time's getting on and I'm getting tired, but luckily, yeah, this feels like this is a good way to get home along this log nice and easy. In fact, actually, that brings me right back to this guy. Okay, so now I know there's a nice easy route if I just go straight along that log right there to close by to the Sister Archers. Okay, tomorrow we can do a good expedition in that direction and we're taking the entire family. Ah, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Earlier, we just picked up the upgrade to let us use a stick to lift a rock. Now, that looks like a rock to me. Yeah, there we go. Gathering spot, liftable rock. And I've actually got myself a thing here. Okay. And I've broken the stick. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got another stick. So, we've got time for one more go here. Time for one more go before bed. It's only half midnight. There we go. Got it. I have figured out how lifting works. Just listen for the little jingle. What do we have here? Switch that. And now grab this. And this is... Yeah, that's just a normal rock. I feel underwhelmed, to be perfectly honest. All right. Today, we've learned some new stuff. So, matured neuron. All right. We've got ourselves... Learn... Yep, learn that. We're just making the connection here. Item manipulation. The ability to switch an item from one hand to the other while moving. Previous, I needed to hold still to do that. All right, absolutely fine. And that opens up, aha, that opens up something else I already know how to do. So, uh, figure out what else I've just mastered. Probably something to do with the fact I just lifted those rocks up if I had to guess. Handling. The ability to drop an item while moving is acquired. I swear that was exactly... Hang on. Wasn't that the same thing as... Wait, what? Oh, no. Switch an item and drop an item. Okay, so we've got both of them. That's all absolutely fine. Make a connection over here too, please. Spatial perception. Detection for non-edible resources increased once again. Fine, so we can see things from further away. But here's where we start thinking about generations and evolution. Because uh, my little baby child, Wum, has some genetic potential and increased capacity to metabolize food, which won't actually do anything until Wum's an adult. So what we probably want to do now is move the game forward a generation so Wum grows up and we can start playing as Wum. And of course, our other baby will also become an adult. So we're going to have two more adult apes floating around. So... Uh, Okay, let's go over to generations here. So, two reinforcements. I need to, uh, yeah, save a couple of things so the next generation gets to keep them. Spatial perception, that seems pretty good. And, yep, yeah, sure, swapping or dropping. Let's go for, yep, yeah, swapping. That's absolutely fine. It needs to be done in order anyway, so I can't take that one if I want to take this one. So, now I've locked those in. When we move forward, the next generation will have those abilities already. So, in which case... Let's actually grow up here. And that'll be little baby one right there who's got a genetic mutation that could potentially be very, very useful indeed. So now we want to bring that forward and lock that in for the future. It is now year 16, day 93. Genetic mutation is now effective. Metabolism. So we've got ourselves a special thing here and... Uh, I'm still playing as Anne, but Anne is now an elder male. So that potentially might affect how effective Anne is going forward. What that probably means right now is we don't want to be playing as Anne anymore. Now we want to be playing 
as one. So, hang on. Nope, that's my wife. Where is my now grown-up child? One adult female with a spontaneous genetic mutation. So we would like to switch over to you. You are now going to be our main player character for the time being. Alright, sleep until morning and then we're all going out on an adventure. Everybody, you're now coming with me. So hold down B for my brand new summon action. We're taking the elders, we're taking literally everybody. Strength in numbers, apes together strong as the film said. Now the question is, have new apes spawned in? Because it has been a great many years. Were you there before? I'm not sure if you're the same one that was there before. And if you are, presumably you've now aged regardless. Hang on, we'll go over here and check because... If the person over here still has a headache 15 years on, we'll know it's the same. No, the apes in the world have now actually shuffled round. So you are potentially somebody else. Well, we'll check on you on the way back, to be honest. We're a little bit busy for the time being. So just get over to here, clamber up. And yeah, we know if we go along this log, that'll lead us halfway there already. And if we're all together, and if it's daylight, and everyone's had some food and some drink, hopefully we'll be okay to make it all the way over to the meteor crash sites. Right, guys, we're going down on the ground. Now, remember, we are all going to hang out together. We're going to stay alert. We're going to be okay. We're going to be able to move faster if we're just running along the ground than trying to find the... Oh! No, we're still freaking out here. We're still freaking out. Okay, we possibly need to work on our brains a bit longer before we're ready to head out all the way to the meteor site, tragically. And let's go... Oh, blimey! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem. Guys, there's a massive-ass snake. Intimidate it. Intimidate it. Go! Shoo! Shoo! Intimidate it some more. Guys, oh, flip, it's freaking the hell out. That's right. Keep, keep intimidating it. It's sort of working. Okay, I think we scared off the snake. Did somebody get bitten? Yeah, I think somebody's been... Oh, yeah, somebody's been poisoned. Yeah, that's Anne. That was our old protagonist who has now been poisoned. Uh, got bitten by a flipping snake. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Right, okay. We got ourselves trouble down over here and... Hello. Right, we've got ourselves a little... Little snail thing. Right, well, I'm happy to eat one of them. Sure, why not? We're growing a neuron because presumably that's the first time we've ever eaten, uh, yeah, meat or a variant thereupon. Didn't bring a stick with me. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, right, guys, I'm going to suggest we get back up in the tree. All right. We've had a very fast lesson there in why we don't necessarily want to be down on the ground just yet. Down on the ground seems a bad idea. Everybody nice and up into the trees, please. Nice and up into the trees. Uh, let's see if we can find any local apes, though. There we go. There's one right up there. Hang on. Make sure we actually tag you so we can get over to you nice and easy. Right. Remember. Good, good, good. Right. I feel like we're going in roughly the right... No. No, we're not. And I think there's a branch right there. There was a branch right there. We're fine. There's a few, uh, yeah, leaps of faith in this game. Bloody hell. Actually, that person is a lot further in that direction than I was expecting. I thought we were almost on them already, but no. No, they're a long way away in a different tree. Right, if we just hop across here, however, that should bring us to... Yeah, that'll bring us to the right tree. Right, hello there. What would you like to join our collective? Because I'm looking for a boyfriend. Right, wounded arm. Gotcha. I need to get back to base and figure out how we cure basic injuries. Because presumably we might be able to do something with that. Actually, hang on. That is a point. If I were to actually move our home to the sister archers. Ooh. Guys, I've got a plan. Because all we need to make a new base is a new bed, I believe. So if I could just find myself... Some nice little kind of palm leaf style stuff. We can get ourselves set up either... Do you want to be on top or underneath the sister arch? I feel like underneath feels like the better idea. Because then we're going to be sheltered. But then again, underneath is... Actually, this would do. Though we do have a small problem, which is, yeah, a lack of those nice palm trees we can use uh, to make a... Oh! 
Yeah, we're a little bit too far from home there. We're going to need to set up a new base here if we want to go any further, I suspect. But if our home was here, presumably we'd be safe to go further and deeper towards the meteorite. So, uh, guys, begin searching for... There we go. There's some right flipping there. Okay, start laying down a bed in this part of the world, please. Oh, hang on. We got ourselves a warthog that's trying to cause trouble. Guys, guys, everybody start intimidating the warthog because we've got no weapons. Uh-oh. Go! Blimey hack. Okay, we've discovered the warthog. I want everyone to start intimidating it, please. It's just broken my leg. Um, okay, I think, I think this, yeah, go! Ow! Okay, guys, we should, we should probably go, actually. Yeah, I've, I've, apparently I'm better at something. Guys, go. We can't defeat the warthog yet. I forgot to bring a sharpened stick. Also, we don't have to sharpen the stick. It's just a stick. Okay, guys, we need to figure this one out here. Logically, one of these plants is going to give us the ability to sort out some form of injury. Okay, there was no jingle, so I suspect this thing's just about to be smushed. Yep, I've just smushed it. Okay. Try one of you, my friend. So, uh, grab that. Switch hands into the off hand. Uh, begin altering. Prepare. Hello. There was... Oh, there was a noise. Aha! I've made an alteration. Stripping the horse tail leads to... Uh, I don't know. A mysterious thing. Switch hands. Uh, give it an inspect. What have we just found here? And what is that doing to me? Providing me with protection against the same thing that rubbing myself with the pine cone did. Okay, not as good as I was hoping for. Okay, team, I've decided uh, we're going to end the expedition now. Because, um, it didn't go well, to be honest. Didn't go spectacularly. Uh, you're fine for the time being, which is great. Though I think at least two people do have broken limbs, which is unfortunate because that's 40% of our society. In fact, I really should have prioritised getting one a boyfriend because wandering around with a baby fills up this central thing. Because if there's no future generation, there's no future for your society. So that's why you need to be carrying around a baby at all times. And that's what lets you unlock all of the new abilities. So beyond the one that we already had that we could re-unlock, there is also... Uh, hang on. Something to do with motor skills, but I don't know what it is yet. And uh, something to do with... Uh, communication skill. So presumably because we did a lot of running there and maybe because we fronted up to a creature or two, uh, yeah, there's a possibility that we'd be able to learn some new skills. Uh, but first, we need to go get one well, boyfriend, uh, get a baby out, start learning those skills, locking in those skills for future generations together with the genetic mutation that Wom has. And Wom's children might themselves have new mutations. So slowly, slowly, slowly over time, you get stronger and stronger and specifically smarter and smarter. And of course, as the apes get smarter and capable of doing more complicated things, the player gets smarter too, because the game never tells you how to make anything. You just have to figure it out and remember it for yourself. And you know what I really admire about this game more than anything, which is uh, I've been playing it for a few hours and uh, the most advanced bit of technology that we actually possess right now is a stick. Not even a sharpened stick, all right? Any other game of this nature I've ever played, like within the first five, ten minutes, you've got, okay, you've punched down a tree, now you've got some wood, right, you've punched a rock, okay, congratulations, you've got a flint axe, so now you can start chopping down things more efficiently, and also you've got a flint sword, so you can kill some creatures, and diddly diddly d, and good, now you're cooking meat, because you've still got some of that wood from earlier, and they're really in a hurry to get you the basics, and basically turn it into a generic crafting game, but this game is different, because it does fall force you to very slowly figure things out after all this time. I've no idea how to deal with common ailments. The most complicated thing I've got is a stick. It feels like we won't even have a sharpened stick by the time that our starting protagonist passes on from old age. And we're only in year 16 out of 8 flipping million. So yeah, there's quite a bit of scale to this game. And as I understand it, there will be kind of big leaps forward at various points where there are migrations to other areas. So you're not in the jungle the whole time. But yeah, it feels like there's a, a huge amount here. And it's just kind of refreshing to play a game where it just treats you like an adult. An adult that it hates, but still an adult. Now, that's not to say there aren't frustrations. Controls are a little bit on the iffy side. And yeah, movement through the trees specifically can be a little bit awkward. 
But I almost feel like that's not really a problem because that's probably by design. This is a harsh, unforgiving game where you have to slowly and carefully figure out what you want to do next. So if it was incredibly easy to just move through the canopy so you'd never go down to the ground and thus never be exposed to predators, well, that wouldn't really work in the game, would it? Like, moving around in the trees should be a bit complicated and difficult and risky because then there's risk-reward evaluation for do you travel treetop or do you travel down on the ground? So... I'm not even sure that's a problem, to be honest, but certainly this game won't be for everybody because there can be some frustrations to it. But for people who are in for the long haul, for people who want their games to treat them rough, this could be just the thing. So, link in the description below to this. Not perfect, but stretch of the imagination, but different, interesting. What more can you flip and want? Hopefully, we can find something similar in the future. But in the meantime, I've been John Spin, many a true nut, and this has been Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.